Hello all and uh, welcome to another episode. Uh, we will continue discussing the questions. Uh, those of you who are, have not subscribed, uh, please do and hit the like button as well because when you do that it reaches more people and the whole objective of uh, this series is to help uh, more and more youth who are preparing for this MCS exam. So let's get started with the uh, question number 31 which is about effective demand. Now in the previous video also we have uh, seen that uh, basic economic concepts and you see the kind of question, it's a very direct question. So if we have read the basics of economy which you should uh, because there are always uh, 10 to 15 questions are there and then you should be able to easily answer uh, that it is uh, basically it depends on the supply uh, price. So this is uh, something again a reminder that the economics, basics of economics is very very important and you should go through all these concepts and these will be very very direct questions which you can answer. Question number 32 is about legislative control over administration. Now this kind of uh, questions where multiple options are there and you have to select uh, which of the following are actually true. So a little bit uh, tricky when they're particularly these options are very close. So let's check one by one. If you have read the basics of polity then you should be able to answer this question. So the first option is zero hour. So basically during the zero hour, uh, any kind of questions can be asked and uh, in a way that means that uh, the legislative can have certain control over the administration uh, by asking uh, these uh, questions about any event or any fact. So that uh, should be there and adjournment motion uh, when basically a uh, matter of some grave importance has to be discussed so all other uh, business of the house uh, has to be suspended and uh, discussion is being uh, done on this adjournment motion so that way this is also an instrument where there can be control over administration. Budget session uh, obviously when the budget is put up and uh, voted so that is more like a financial control over administration. So it is also another mode of uh, control over administration. The last option is a little bit uh, dicey in the sense that yes, by legislation also there is a control, but uh, the option says the formulation of a bill. Now bill is, uh, uh, does not come into effect unless it is passed by the uh, assembly or the parliament and then it becomes an act. So then it may be like a control over the administration but in this case uh, there is no option also where all of the above are correct. So uh, saying the best option will be first, second and third are definitely instruments uh, with where the legislative control over the administration can be enforced. Question number 33 is about the vertical movement of air. Now these are basically questions from uh, geography and these are basics of geography and when it comes to all these kind of systems that there are different air currents across the world which you have to read about what is their impact on the overall uh, climate and weather conditions so this is also very very important. So in this question uh, basically what you can see is even if you don't know the answer so wind is basically the uh, you can say the horizontal movement of the uh, air and in a small pockets that we call as wind. Turbulence is basically uh, where, uh, especially when we talk about uh, aircrafts and all that. So when there is uh, unpredicted small pockets of uh, you know, air uh, going in a uh, hayward direction, so that causes turbulence. And uh, mobility is something what you know. So uh, even if you don't know what is the air current in this question uh, by hit and trial method you can come to the conclusion that the air current will be the right option but uh, this is all only to be used as last resort so my advice will be to read the basic concepts of uh, geography and uh, that will help you with a lot of questions. Question number 34 is about uh, tidal energy now uh, and these are the places where uh, uh, it is uh, harnessed uh, and this is mostly about India and uh, all are true, all are these places where uh, potential sites and it is being used uh, as well. 
and uh, you have to understand that these uh, forms of uh, energy the green forms green sources of energy are extremely important apart from solar we talk of solar a lot and everywhere it is being used but of course there is a cost and there is a limitation on the um, uh, material availability as well so we have to explore other energy sources as well uh, on the lines of uh, basically these uh, tidal energy and wind energy and all those things geothermal energy all these uh, uh, energies have to be harnessed so that we have a sufficient energy uh, in the future so uh, when it comes to environment all these energy related uh, topics are very very important and uh, as we progress the technology to harness these kind of energies is progressing so more and more new concepts are coming up and the questions can be directly from these new developments in the field of energy and environment so be careful whenever you see such uh, topics in the newspapers uh, make sure that you uh, note it down and you understand the new technology and uh, you are updated with the latest on these uh, environmental concepts question number 35 is about uh, democratic socialism now uh, if you see the word itself explains the meaning that if we are going with the democratic socialism so of course it cannot be through violent means uh, and uh, also option number c is directly uh, what the a breakdown of this word democratic socialism so socialism uh, as a system which where there is a community ownership of everything that if it can be achieved in a democratic way basically that is democratic socialism so here uh, just by common sense the application also you can uh, see that the answer will be c but all these uh, concepts various jargons and various um, this uh, ideologies uh, you must understand all these words when you are reading indian polity please make sure that you understand these ideologies uh, in detail so that any question related to these ideologies can be answered question number 36 is about a uh, one mahotsav now uh, for those uh, who do not understand much hindi uh, one means forest and mahotsav means a festival so if you are following the updates uh, on the district page you will notice that uh, of course this forest department along with other department uh, we celebrate this and this is generally during the first week of july that is first july and uh, other than the world environment day this one mahotsav is also uh, celebrated uh, on this note i want to touch a fact that uh, every year i am seeing more and more water issues are coming up this is essentially because we are cutting down trees large scale uh, deforestation is happening large scale zoom is happening and uh, basically when trees are not there uh, the soil will run off the kind of rainfall we get in meghalaya if we don't have good trees which can hold the soil the big trees which used to be there then all the soil is going to run off and this basically will cause all top soil to go without top soil you will not be able to uh, plant uh, and then uh, the process of desertification is basically it will uh, start so it's very very important that we plant more trees we protect the existing trees and especially we teach our young generation the importance of plantation question number 37 is about uh, diamond and the various uh, properties of diamond and uh, if you have read basic science you will know that it, it is a allotrope of uh, carbon so that means the first point itself is uh, wrong and uh, the only then option will be b so these kind of questions sometimes uh, when you see that one option which is wrong and it is not there in any of the a b c d options then you can quickly find out which is the answer you need not go through the remaining ones so this is a faster way of uh, solving but of course uh, this is only will be applicable in certain cases and where you are extremely sure of that one fact that it is not true so here of course the answer will be 2 uh, 3 4 are uh, correct and one is wrong because it's a allotrope of carbon Question number 38 is about southwest monsoon and uh, when you are studying geography you will realize uh, that looking at the questions and analysis on the impact that monsoon uh, 
the trends, the impact, the causes, it's very, very important to all sort of exams. It's a favorite topic of all the exams and it is something which is discussed uh, uh, very often and uh, we wait for the monsoon to come and uh, there is a, a fascination with this word also monsoon and uh, often you will see that there are questions on monsoon so uh, my advice will be to read it in detail different kind of monsoon rating monsoon southwest monsoon and uh, all those uh, correlated concepts of how this monsoon uh, are basically caused and uh, you know, where this low pressure depression region etc etc so there are so many related concepts so please understand uh, them in detail and uh, the answer in this case uh, will be uh, C. Now uh, again basic concept of uh, physics, uh, centripetal force is basically invert centrifugal force when an object is basically being uh, made to rotate and that is the two forces and which balance each other. So of course in this case uh, at equator it is the highest so of course it's not uh, a and uh, others are also the, so the answer will be poles at poles uh, it will be uh, basically uh, it will be zero and uh, so relating to this uh, you should know uh, all these concepts like where is this tropic of cancer where is this tropic of capricorn uh, where is the 10 degree channel 9 degree channel there's so many related questions can come directly from the atlas so all these uh, basic concepts of geography you must learn Question number 40 is about uh, state list. Now, uh, those who have read the basics of polity, you will know that there are uh, various lists under our constitution. Uh, one is union list, then state list, then there is conference list. So basically, there are various subjects which have been divided into these three lists. So if a subject is in union list, so union government will make the law relating to that field. If it's in state list, state government will usually make Concurrent list both can make and if there is a conflict yeah, this union government will prevail but basically all the possible subjects have been divided uh, depending on the importance the relevance it has been divided between union state and concurrent risk and basically whatever remains that is called residu uh, residual power uh, that is with the uh, basically union government. So here again you see another basic question of uh, Indian polity has come and I have been emphasizing on the fact that uh, polity and uh, economy are very very important and I hope you all are preparing these two well. I hope your preparation is ongoing for the next uh, MCS uh, prelims exam and uh, keep watching these series and uh, keep sharing uh, this and uh, please make sure that you subscribe lot of people uh, as per the uh, data received <laughs> there are a lot of views but uh, not many subscriptions uh, the idea of these likes and subscribe subscription is basically to increase the reach uh, of this uh, videos and uh, i'm doing this for the youth and i'll be happy if it reaches more people so like subscribe share thank you for watching